I just want to do a quick video this afternoon on this really neat old uh, probably uh, very either it's either very late 1880s or a very early 1890s uh, cubbly pretty sure it's a cubbly check out that antique celluloid tailpiece that's really neat and we've got a, uh, a maple bridge from Joel Hooks See if I can get a little bit closer. I got a table in my way here. But so you can check out some of that fingerboard inlay. I believe this is a cubbly. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a cubbly. Because this is a cheap copy of an 1888 Luscombe. Check out this peg head. This is the, the cubbly peg head. Let's compare that with an actual 1888 Luscombe peg head. You see how similar they are? They're not that similar, but to me, it's obvious. That is a similar, this, this is a cheaper knockoff of this peg head. Let me tell you what's even more obvious. Look at the, the rim on this Luscombe. Solid metal rim on this Luscombe. This first model Luscombe is famous for that solid metal rim. Check out the solid metal rim on this knockoff. So it's got the same kind of little edging on the on the edge. And then look, it's even got the fake on on the Luscombe, this little fat rabbited part there is to hold the uh, that hard maple tone room tone ring that's in the Luscombe. This cubbly, if it is a cubbly, it ain't got no no separate tone ring in there. That's just there for looks because this truly is. I'm pretty sure they're copying the 1888 Luscombe on this. Check out the back of the neck. It's got a lot of nice wear on the back. Check out those old tuning pegs. Pretty neat. Oh, the other interesting thing about this Cubbly is, is it's got a, a solid metal dowel too check that out this is just a nut that screws on i guess i've got it down too tight more than finger tight and it terminates just terminates in this kind of a neat little thing got a damn good rifle and a damn good dog damn good rifle damn good I need to say briefly too that if this is a cubbly it's got no marking on it um, cubbly was in uh, outside of Chicago I believe is Ravenswood Illinois which was a separate town back then but today is I'm sure just a suburb of Chicago so Ravenswood Illinois is where cubbly manufactured these banjos and I want to say they were only in business from about 1880 to 1890, similar to uh, Fairbanks and Cole in that regard. Only in business for about 10 years. But Cubley made some, made some really neat banjos. Check them out. All right. <laughs>